being getting your nojo done means officially means that you are Zarthushti and being a Zarthushti influences your life every day with good thoughts, good words and good deeds. That means you should you should wear your sedra in custody a lot. Uh, it's influenced it by the fact when I was younger I didn't used to wear sudra custody. Even though I'd done my nudra, I'd never used to uh, wear sudra custody. Now I wear it every day, say my prayers in the morning at night time. Um, and yeah, I kind of have it as my kind of identity to being a Parsi and a Zarashtrian. That's, those are my, I say my prayers in the morning and as I'm saying it, it's part of my ritual to put my sudra custody on. I think mainly it's a commitment that you have to make. It's a commitment that you make to God and it's a commitment that you make to yourself to be a good person. Um, you know, the only thing I wish that had happened was I wish that it had been a little later on in my life or I had a better understanding of it. I think seven, I think the age of seven is a little too early to have enough job. It was something that would be very relevant for my future, that having my Navjot was going to be something that would be very, very relevant to the future, to how I lived my life or how I conducted myself from here on. And the Navjot was kind of the starting point for my life to take off. Maybe like instead of just starting to memorize the prayers from the get-go, maybe more of a basic understanding of what those prayers meant and why I was doing it, rather than just straight up memorizing all the prayers. Basically, I was told by my family members that uh, you better know your prayers or the priest will beat you up, right? So. <laughs> as well as I don't really understand the, the practice, the, the rituals that I practice. I don't necessarily understand the significance of them, and I don't necessarily understand uh, why I do them. So I, I'd say that those are the biggest issues. Um, we didn't know, we, we were playing them for a while, so okay. we, we didn't know what they meant, but he just had us pray them for him. Uh, no, I mean, the only thing, with hindsight would have been maybe having the nojo a bit later on in life just so you fully understand why you're doing it and understand the beliefs behind it however I understand you have to do it at you know, a certain age so that's why we do it but you know if maybe if we had it five years later I could have understood a lot more and in greater detail of why we have the ceremony I wish I had known more about it, like the actual meaning and significance of it yeah I wear satra and kasti daily pray two times a day and that stuff. I find the priest in the afternoon, he told us to show up at 6 in the morning in the temple, which we did, and he performed the ceremony, so I had to repeat everything he said, so I don't remember much of it, so preparation was almost zero, so yeah, actually I believe I did it because I wanted, not because my parents or family forced me to do it, so actually I believe I did it at that age. Because I wanted, so it was it was the way I wanted, so it was nice. And like for example, my son, I always I always wondered, right? You know, we're in America. You know, will he wear his sadra? Will he wear his kasti? And you know, he's he's had his nojo for two and a half years now, three years almost. And every day he does his kasti in the night, night in the morning. He wears a sadra to school, and he's explained the sadra and kasti. So I think you know, um, we're very proud of him. Now I think it's just so unique to have something like this, right? As you grow up, you you gain that knowledge, and that's kind of what I've instilled in in, my, in our son through this. That don't. don't don't hide it, you know, show it, you know, wear it, uh, you know, tell the folks what your faith is about because people really are truly tolerant.